With the new update, the zoom in effect in Shotcut is now easier than before, so let's check it out. So the first thing you want to do is select the clip that you want to add this zoom in effect on. And then with the playhead, locate the specific part of the clip that you want to start zooming in on, and then from there we're just going to split the clip at that specific part. And then we're going to do the exact same thing, but you're just going to locate a specific part of the clip where you want to end that in zoom out from. So this is going to be the segment that we're going to be working with. Now the next thing you want to do is just select the segment that we just split and this is where we're going to be working on. From there we're just going to go to filters, the plus button, and we're just going to search for the size, position, and rotate filter. Once we selected it we can see all the settings it offers as well as the zoom in toggle. So here you can basically use the slider and adjust the input for the amount of zoom or if you want a more precise zoom you can actually put in the input for that as well but all you have to do is just adjust it to your liking. And as you can see, it basically zooms in right in the center of your video. However, we can adjust this to zooming in in whatever part of the video clip. One way to do this is go to the preview screen and just select on that little circle icon and you'll be able to move the video inside the frame. And as you can see, we can pick on the subject that we want to zoom in closer to. Or we can come here to the position and size settings and adjust the numbers there manually for a more precise measurement. So once you have adjusted all the settings of how you want it, we can come back here to the timeline and hit play. And as you can see, it's not as much as a zoom in as it is as a hard cut. However, if you want to get that animated zoom in look, we can fix that real quick. All you have to do is just go back to the size position and rotate filter and we're just going to select on this keyframe icon. And as you can see, it will bring you to the keyframes timeline, which you can easily switch from the main timeline to the keyframes timeline. And as you can see, this is the exact clip that we're adding our zoom in effect into it. And if you look closely from both ends of the clip, we can see these little two toggles that basically represents the animation that we're going to be adding to it. So if I select one of the toggles and just drag it out, you can see that little shade overlay that it adds. And that's what basically adds the animation to the zoom in effect. And you guys can adjust this however you want to. If you want the animation to last longer, we'll just drag it out longer out to the clip. And the same thing if you want it shorter or faster, just drag it in inwards. And if we go back to the main timeline and hit play, we can see that it gives us that zooming in and the zooming out effect as well. And you guys can come back to the keyframes timeline and just adjust the speed of the animation as well as other things you may want to add. But now we can give you a little preview of what you can expect by using this filter to achieve this zoom in effect. a simple way to zoom in and out of a video. And there are many other things that you can do with this effect, along with the many other filters that Shotcut has updated. So if you want to find out what else you can do inside of Shotcut, well this is the channel for you. I have a variety of Shotcut tutorials and editing videos for you to improve your video editing skills. But with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.